Hello everyone, um, my name is uh, Vinit Singh. I'm from the University of the South Pacific. Uh, University of South Pacific, uh, I'm uh, originally from Fiji, so with me I have uh, Akeshni Bali, the lead de uh, developer for OMDT, but he, he's shy to come up, so he's there, so if there's any question at the end, he will be able to answer that. Um, uh, I'll be discussing about this uh, online tool, a uh, mathematic diagnostic tool which we have developed and how we have used Moodle and Moodle features which really enable this uh, tool. Before uh, talking about the tool itself, let me just give a brief uh, description about my university so you would have an idea why exactly we came up with this tool. So. The University of the South Pacific uh, operational since 1968, and we have around 26,000 students as of uh, semester one 2017. Uh, we consist, uh, the university consists of 12 member Pacific Island countries, and uh, there are 14 campuses throughout the region. As you can see in the map, there are multiple countries, and the campuses are located in these uh, many countries. Uh, such as uh, Marshall Islands, Kiribati, uh, Niue, Tuvalu, Tonga, Solomon Islands, Vanuatu, Niue, Cook Islands, and Samoa. Of course, Fiji uh, has the main campus uh, called Lozala Campus. All the IT structure, infrastructure, and all the main things are done in Fiji, in Lozala campus. Fiji, Lozala campus acts as a hub. Uh, most of our courses are online now due to the fact that majority of our students or students are also located in these remote islands or these campuses. So we have to have our courses online to support all the uh, students. Um, before I talk about OMDT, I have a short video uh, where this uh, John and Rohini actually explains a bit about OMDT. So Hope this gives you a... I am so excited to join USP. Hi, John. Me too. By the way, have you taken the OMDT? What is the OMDT? Last year, when I attended the USP Open Day, I found out that the OMDT means online mathematics diagnostic tool. It consists of a numeracy test and remedial. The test is designed to diagnose or detect students' weaknesses in mathematics. The OMDT is absolutely free and can be taken from anywhere as long as you have internet connectivity. The duration of the test is 1 hour, 15 minutes and it consists of 5 modules, algebra, functions, differentiation, integration and probability and statistics. There are 8 questions per module. 4 questions are from the easy category, 2 questions are from the intermediate category and 2 questions from the advanced category. Okay. Five modules in one hour, 15 minutes. Does that mean I have to complete one module in 15 minutes? Yes, that's right. It's important that you complete the five modules. So once you have completed the eight questions for one module, do not waste time but click on the button which will take you straight to the next module. Also, I know that once you have completed all the five modules, you are required to fill out questionnaire and you will receive your certificate. The certificate will give your grade based on your performance. You can also view your performance for each module. What will happen if I fail one of the modules? If you fail a module, you will be directed to take the appropriate remedial, which is also online. It contains simplified notes and fun activities. Wow, that's interesting. Oh, Rohini, I just have one last question. Why should one take this online test? Well, you see, USP consists of 12 member countries and students study different curriculums and take different exams before coming to USP. Also, there are students who have been working for some time and want to join USP to further their education. Many courses in USP have some percentage of mathematics and to ensure that all students are well prepared for their courses, students are required to take the OMDT. Awesome, I will surely take the OMDT. But before you leave, I just want to tell you the latest news. OMDT is open to everyone, even to high school students. The students can take the OMDT by registering via the Gmail. Okay, uh, thank you. Uh, so hopefully that uh, 
give a brief description of what exactly OMDD is and why exactly we have. Uh, I'll emphasize some of the points from them. Uh, OMDD is basically developed to diagnose and detect uh, incoming students we, which we have in the university and detect uh, the weakness area in mathematics in those five topics. So uh, the OMDT has two modules. One is the test part, and the other part is, of course, the remedial part. Uh, five modules are uh, algebra, functions, differentiation, integration, as uh, we have seen. Uh, it started, it was piloted in 2014 uh, in the science faculty, but today OMDT is throughout the university, and it is compulsory for the first year students to do. If they do not do OMDT, they cannot register for the second year courses. So now it's uh, compulsory because of the fact that uh, mathematics is needed in most of the courses. Uh, of course, there are three different type of OMDT, OMDT 1, 2, and 3. OMDT 1 is for the science students, which uh, comprises of more advanced questions, whereas OMDT for non-science has easier question. OMDT 3 is for general public, uh, which we have opened, uh, and they can access that using the social authentication. Uh, approximately, there are 5,000 students per year who actually um, participate or attempt OMDT. Uh, as uh, Rainey and John explains that due to the nature of ESP, we have different con uh, students coming from different countries and the level of mathematics teach there, taught there, and uh, also the fact that some school, uh, schools may not have uh, good facilities, untrained teachers, unqualified teachers. So for those reasons, we have this particular a tool. Uh, basically, to come to USP from secondary to tertiary, we want to close that gap. And for those reasons, we have this OMDT. Um, looking at the overall flowchart of OMDT, so there, there are five tests initially. Students are to attempt one by one. So using the conditional activity. Uh, first module comes up as a quiz, student takes part in that, attempts that, and next, keep doing that till the five modules. After doing five modules, uh, they take part in a questionnaire. This is basically a feedback on the uh, modules. Uh, and if they have passed all five modules, then they will be awarded a certificate, and that's it, they finish OMDD. But if they fail at least one of the modules, they'll be directed to that particular remedial, and um, they have to attempt that remedial. They do retest for that particular uh, modules, and then they finish uh, OMDT getting the awards and certificate based on the retest and test uh, grades. Um, one of the cool features uh, for Moodle, of course, the question banks, uh, this really helped us to develop the test module. So for five modules, we have five uh, uh, categories in question bank, and each category has subcategory, uh, easy, intermediate, and hard, uh, advanced. So there are at least 150 questions or more in easy and 100 in intermediate and 50 questions in advanced. So randomly, uh, this question uh, is selected and given to students. For, uh, as for the science students, four hard, two easy, uh, I mean, four easy, two intermediate, and two advanced. For non-science, it's basically six easy questions and two intermediate questions. So that's how the um, test selects all these questions. All these questions are basically multiple choice questions. And uh, these questions were prepared uh, by the mathematics professors uh, from university. And uh, basically, these questions are based on ES 12 and 13 questions only. It does not cons uh, consist of any questions uh, from first year university. And, um, Um, looking at the remedial bit, so each module has its own remedial, those five modules. And we have used uh, basically 
or help captivate to develop this remedial, to make it more interactive and engaging. If you have used the storyline or captivate, you would uh, know how easy it becomes to actually implement the um, gamification logics or idea and use of multimedia and many things because there's so many um, tools within it that makes our work so easy. So to make an engaging and interactive remedial model, we use uh, basically Adobe Captivate. All, all the nodes are basically uh, specific control, uh, in specific context so that it's easier for the students to understand the concept better. And uh, the remedial has the game gamification feature, so throughout the remedial, students will be able to collect the coins and stars. Um, remedial is designed in a way, for example, even for algebra, there, there are multiple topics, and it starts from easy to advanced. Just like in the games, we have level one, two, three, and four, and continues. Same way this is designed, so throughout, the students are collecting the coins, and um, um, stars and which at the end of the remedial is converted to the marks and displayed to the student. Uh, looking at the overall flowchart for remedial, it begins with notes, then uh, uh, students are given examples, video tutorial, and then there is a short um, test for that particular topic. If the student pass, they get maximum uh, coins, and they continue to the next level. But if they fail, then the video tutorial comes up again. They, they view that, uh, learn some more concept, and then retest uh, that particular topic. If they pass, they continue further with a bit uh, less coins. If they fail, then notes and examples comes back again, and again retest. And this time, if they pass or fail, it doesn't matter. They will continue to the next level, but with uh, minimum coins. Uh, some of the features uh, of Moodle, which uh, we really used um, and we found very important for this tool or this project uh, to work, um, conditional activities. Most of you would be using this. Uh, this helps uh, us to uh, set the procedure, if there is any uh, procedure which we want to follow for a particular course, uh, it's, it makes our work so easy. So similarly, we use this to, uh, to enable like if, uh, first show test one, and after completing test one, then go to test two. If student fails test one, then they are redirected to uh, remedial test one uh, for test one. So that concept, uh, conditional activity, re really made, uh, made our work easier. Uh, next, uh, as I explained, the que uh, quiz and question banks. So those are the feature of Moodle which we used. News forum for all the discussion and uh, OMDT updates. And uh, SCOM uh, activity on Moodle. Uh, that was really, uh, again, the SCOM, the way it is designed on Moodle uh, is very interactive and um, the good part is that whatever SCOM you use, whether it's uh, Adobe Captivate or Storyline, at the end of the day, all the marks and whatever you want to re uh, report from the SCOM really, uh, inter uh, it really goes well or synchronizes well with Moodle. All the marks and all the reports goes back to Moodle uh, in a in a way that you want it to be. Uh, we use a progress tracker to show our students where they stand. Social authentication, uh, this was one of the plugin which we used for OMDT3, uh, where um, the general public can log in with their social um, Facebook or Gmail account and do this OMDT. Uh, next thing we have is certificate and transcript. Certificate basically is the the initial certificate plugin which was developed by Mark Nelson. So we extended that uh, certificate uh, according to our needs and gave the student certificate uh, based on the marks, uh, basically distinction, um, 
credit pass or participation. Now I understand that the custom certificate which uh, he further developed is uh, well advanced and already caters those, but back then when we developed this, so we had to do some modification and then we implement, implemented that. Um, next we have uh, transcript. Uh, this is not on Moodle yet. So basically we extended uh, the certificate plugin and to a uh, transcript plugin. So what happens, there's five modules, algebra, and those uh, integration and differentiation. So for each module or for each topics, the student can get grades A, B, C, D based on their mark and percentage. So basically we extended that certificate into transcript. Um, so, okay. um, so these are sample, uh, transcript and certificate. Um, future, uh, we would like to make the uh, remedial offline due to the fact that it's content heavy and uh, most of our countries do not have uh, this internet uh, bandwidth, a nice internet bandwidth. Uh, in, if uh, Moodle can have a distributed Moodle um, created, so that would really help us uh, in future. Uh, thank you. Any questions? Quick question. Uh, hi, Vinny. Hi. Thank you for your presentation. That was that was really interesting. Um, I was involved in a similar project that wasn't nearly implemented as well um, for certificate students uh, at, at UniTech in Auckland. Um, but I, I can immediately see uh, use for this for our perhaps our diploma and and um, bachelor students. We've got much the same market. Many many Pacific Island students come come to us and probably went through the same school systems as, as you're seeing. So that's that's really interesting. I'll, I'll, I'll look into it further. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Vinit. Next up. Okay. Thank you.